www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org. The Life of Jesus This is a message that Bob gave someone on a YouTube comment under one of his videos and is presented here as a video lesson about Bob's knowledge and understanding of Jesus. You must understand that, to incarnate here on earth, we have to have a physical body, but, we are actually all a spirit force. Jesus, in his spirit force, was and is, a very advanced being. He decided to incarnate here on earth, to teach us a better, more peaceful way of living. So, he incarnated into a body, that we know as Jesus. Actually, that was not the name that he really had, but, I can't remember what his real name was, it was similar to Jesus. He was not born into a working class family, carpenters, because he needed a lot of leisure time, to develop on earth, and to go about teaching. Had he been born into a poor family, he would have been working all the time to survive, and would not have been able to teach. So, he was born into a Jewish royal family. He was a sort of prince. His parents, obviously, were part of that royal family. His birth was perfectly normal. The idea of the virgin birth was invented by the early Catholic Church. When he was a child and young man, he spent a lot of time in the synagogues, but quickly realized that the bloody, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth religion that was being taught was not the correct way forward, so he went to Tibet and studied in a monastery there. Once adult, he went about Tibet and northern India, teaching peace and love. That is the period in the Bible when he was missing. Then, at about the age of 30, he came back to Israel and taught. I will just say at this point that he did not have to travel like we do. He was so advanced that he could teleport, a bit like in the Harry Potter stories. He could think of where he wanted to go, and whoosh, off he went. We all have this ability, but, it is dormant in most of us. As his teachings were so different from that being taught by the priests in Israel, they decided that Jesus had to go. So they organized, with the Romans, the capture of Jesus. It was not Jesus who was tortured and crucified. Someone else was substituted, so that Jesus could escape. But by now, Jesus was married to the lady that we know as Mary Magdalene, who was a princess. I believe that they had two children, a boy and a girl. I can't remember all their names. I think that the name of the daughter was Sarah. Anyway, one of the children, the boy, went to India to escape, but Jesus, his wife and daughter, went to southern France and installed themselves in a remote village in an area called the Arige. The actual village is called Lordat. My wife and I have visited this place. There, he set up a religion called Catharism. The Fidel were vegetarian and believed in peace, and so on. Catharism was more or less destroyed by the Catholic Church in the 12th century. Jesus, so I understand, died in Lordat, and was buried there. I am not sure what happened to his wife, Mary Magdalene. Some say that she went to Scotland, and is buried in a church there, but I do not know if this is the truth. That is about all that I know, concerning the life of Jesus. All I can tell you about him, since his body died, and he went back to heaven, is that he is still very much alive, and is doing his best to help us down here. He is very respected in heaven by the good people, and feared by the demons. Thank you for watching this video lesson. Please visit www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org for more lessons and free downloadable books.